All right, so before we start uh, today's stream, I want to say that things in Ukraine are still less than ideal for the people of that country, and people could use some help. So in the About section of my Twitch page, and also in the description of this video, assuming you're watching on YouTube, there will be links out to you to one or two articles, both of which list various charities sending aid to Ukrainians in need. If you have any spare cash, please consider donating to one or more of the charities listed in either article. People could really use the help. With all that said, I can't think of anything else that needs to be said on the subject, so I'm going to go back to doing what I do rather than talk about serious topics like war, and that's trying to be a distraction from it all. Hello everybody, welcome to the first Pokemon Coliseum live stream. The fact that this is actually happening on Pokemon Day in 2024, it was actually kind of a coincidence. But honestly, I can't think of a better way to celebrate it. Starting a brand new campaign, Pokemon Coliseum. And of course, I'm playing Pokemon Coliseum to gather footage, as well as basically revisit Pokemon Coliseum for the Pokemon Retrospective series on this channel. So, uh, yeah. I can't think of anything else that needs to be said, so let's get going. No Pokemon Coliseum saved for a while on the door of Sunday, but it's already fit, yes. Alright, gonna go to options real fast, stereo, rum. Okay, that, that's it for options, got it. Yeah, so Pokemon Coliseum basically has uh, two different features to it. Let me actually put this down on the notes real fast, one second. Zero, zero, one. Yeah, so Pokemon Coliseum is meant to act as both the GameCube's equivalent to uh, Pokemon Stadium, uh, which was basically just, hey, it's uh, Pokemon, but the battles are in 3D. This is meant to be uh, uh, the GameCube's version of that for like the Gen 3 games and onward, though it only supports uh, Ruby Sapphire, uh, Ruby Sapphire, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. Uh, XD, however, uh, supports those four games as well as Emerald and has basically the same modes. However, Coliseum is unique in that it also has its own story campaign. And, well, that's what we're gonna be pl blah, blah. That's what we're gonna be, uh, playing, uh, in this stream. So, let's get started. Is it okay to start a new story? Yes. We're gonna go with the character's canon name, or at the very least, I believe this is the character's canon name, Wes. a different way to uh, to start a Pokemon game. Usually it starts with the region's professor telling us about the grand world of Pokemon, uh, but I guess we could start the game with uh, uh, our main character stealing something from what seems to be an evil team and blowing their base up. That's a way to start. Let's see what Pokemon we got. Okay, we start out with the boy, Umbreon. He knows Bite, Secret Power, Taunt, and Snatch. Seems to target raises stats. Okay, not gonna be using that. It's probably gonna be the first thing I get rid of. And we also have Espeon, another, co another cool Pokemon, even if they're not as cool as Umbreon. Confusion, Return, Reflect, and Helping Hand. I will say, though, Umbreon, uh, 
I'm sorry. Uh, Espeon does have a massive special attack stat. So, yeah. Uh, as for when they caught, just Wes's old friend. Quiet nature, naughty nature. I feel like these two should be reversed. Whatever. Anyway, let's head in this building and see what's up. Sorry guys, no taking. Fwah! We sure picked out, eh? I love chowing down after a job. It adds to the flavor, I swear. <laughs> yeah, and we bagged ourselves a, gr a great big catch, too. Boss will be sure to fix us up good with big rewards, too. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. Okay, I have to check. Is Mew here? Is Mew under the truck? Was Mew hiding under the truck? No? Okay. More notes. Authorities have made a stunning announcement on the mysterious building that exploded in Elko... I'm sorry, Elko Canyon. It was Team Snagum's hideout. Team Snagum, uh, it, I'm very sorry, is a gang of Pokemon abductors who have already been marked for arrest. The hideout was discovered uh, only as a result of the explosion. By the time police arrived, the ruined building had already been abandoned. The cause of the explosion is under investigation. It should become apparent eventually. Hello. Oh, I haven't seen your face around these parts. A traveler, huh? Not that it matters any. I don't know where you might uh, might have come from, but relax. Stick around a while. Hey, do you know about Team Snagum? No. They're a bunch of heartless crooks. They rip off Pokemon from trainers without any hesitation. I hear they use something called a snag ball to catch Pokemon from their rightful trainer in battle. I'm guessing that you're a trainer. You'd best be careful. You know, I don't quite understand what happened, but having your hideout blow up on you? Crime doesn't pay, I guess. I'll have a... Uh, I live a crime-free life, so nothing's going to blow up on me. <laughs> There's no forgiving that team Snagum. They don't. De uh, they don't deserve it. N uh, they don't deserve it. Not when they steal Pokemon. Okay. Yeah, I'm just having a hard time reading today. Why? Well, I'd give a hip hip hooray if they were wiped out uh, with their wrecked hideout. Jesus Christ! You're a Pokemon trainer too, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> I can tell. And you're good. I can see it in your eyes. I bet your Pokemon are impressive, too. If the opportunity ever arises, I'd like to have a battle with you. <laughs> Though I doubt I'd have any chance of beating you. So can I get any food, or...? I can't get any... Why did I come here in the first place? One second. Wait, wait up! Hey, my name's Willie. After I got a good look at you, well, I got this urge to battle you. It's like, uh, it's like I'm compelled to. Anyway, I look at it, it's obvious that you're no ordinary Joe. So, what do you say? Let's you and me have a quick battle. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's the spirit. All right, all right, over here this way. Okay, get ready for one for what is probable. No wait. I, I'm not. Th there, there is no probably to it. This is one of the best battle themes in the entire franchise. You cannot convince me otherwise. I'm gonna mute my micro best you can hear.
Yeah, this is one of the best battle themes in the franchise. Fight me. Don't actually fight me, I'm very tired today. Yeah, you're tough, real tough. You did a you did a real number on us. Hey, I know. Why not test your skills in Finex City? It's out west of here. You'll find trainers who are way better than me there. You should go out there and get some battling in. All right, let's head out. Okay, now putting this down in the notes. Um. Pokemon Coliseum and Pokemon XD do not have traditional routes. Instead, when you leave a given era, you're automatically taken to a fast travel map. And, yeah, that's what this is. So, let's head over to Fennec City. Hey, what are you doing? Get a grip, man! Yeah, you say that, but this, it won't stop squirming. Makes it tough to hold on. Okay, okay, so, uh, settle down in there. Just be quiet for a little while longer. Help! Someone! Let me out! Kidnappers! Th that tape didn't keep her yap shut. Hey, quit shouting. Oh, drat. Did that punk there hear all that? Since you overheard us, we don't have any choice. Blame it on your own bad luck. Alright. Okay, so far SP on has basically uh, one shot everything. Hey, Umbreon grew to level 27. Bum bum. Yeah, you're tougher than you look. You took out my Whismur. You're an ordinary trainer, are you? Huh? Wait a sec. That face. Might you be Team Snagums? What? What? What's going on here? Eek! Somebody! Robbers! They're robbers! Y you be quiet! We're no robbers, we're kidnappers! Get it? Kidnappers! What, you dingback? Don't shoot off your mouth! Don't get all happy just on account of winning this once. Um, that was a weird line delivery by me. The next time we meet, I'll trash you, your Pokemon and all! Oh, yuck! There's someone inside there! Yeah. This is tight, good and tight. Can you believe those people? What a horrible thing to do. I'm just gonna... Please, we need your help! No, you don't. Please, we need your... No, you don't. 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 Fine. Undo the knot? Yes. Wes tugged hard on the tightly knotted rope. The knot gradually loosened. Wes undid the knot, keeping the mouth the sack's mouth closed. Phew! 
Thank goodness I'm saved! Let's see here. Where is this? Where'd those uh, two bring me? This is Fennec City, the opulent city of water. This person saved you from those thugs. The way he bowed those goons, it was truly superb. I wish you could have seen it. Oh, is that so? Thank you! And, uh, you are... Oh, you're named Wes. I am. Again, going by what I believe her canon name to be, and that's Rui. My name's Rui. I'm sure, gl uh, I'm sure glad I met you. I was in the neighboring town when those two grabbed me. Oh, the, uh, bah, those guys. Did they use a peculiar Pokemon? A peculiar Pokemon? No, they looked ordinary to me. What do you mean by peculiar Pokemon? Oh, no. No, that's fine then. Well, it's easy to see something's on your mind. You should go see our mayor for his advice. He's a very kindly person. I'm sure that he'll be able to help you somehow. The mayor's house is near the Fountain Square past here. Go up the stairs from the square and it's, uh, and it's on your left. The mayor? Yes, that's true. The mayor might know something. Hey, Wes, I know I'm imposing, but I don't have any uh, uh, anyone else that I can turn to. Please, can I get you to escort me for a while? No. Oh, but those uh, men might come back. Please, can I get you to stick with me for just a while? No. Uh, no. 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 No, I did it by accident. Whatever. Rui became a partner. Rui's data has been added to the Pokedex. You got that cast form just running around. As you can see, this is the Pokemon Center. Uh, Pokemon Centers are actually different from town to town. A lot more than they are in uh, previous games. Like, uh, I think the next Pokemon Center we're going to be seeing looks nothing like this. The town's layout is displayed. It's spinning for some reason, which makes it harder for me to figure out where is where. Let's head down here. I'm terribly sorry, we're still getting things ready. Please come back later. This is the Trade Center. Unfortunately, you cannot trade with any other games until you've beaten the main campaign. So, yeah. Alright, before we go talk to the mayor, let's go look for some, uh, some trainers to fight. If you're still traveling, you should stock up on supplies at the shop there. I recommend it. After all, it's my uh, or <clears throat> oh, ha he was saying house. Uh, well, anyway, that shop has the best reputation around these parts. Well, I see an item, but I'm going to resist the urge so I can battle. Oh, are you traveling? Oh, I envy you. Is it a journey to become an expert trainer or a quest to meet Pokemon? Either way, you make me jealous. I thought you'd battle me. What a f what fine weather this is. It's truly a uh, perfect sort of day for a Pokemon battle. So, young one, how about indulging this old man? Let us battle. Same strategy we normally do, for now anyway. 
That one actually didn't take out the hoo-hoo. Bum bum! Whoa! I've got to concede this one, lad! You're young, but you've got a bit of spine. Why, you're just like me when I was young. Well done, indeed! Yeah, in case you couldn't tell, all battles in this game are double battles. Well, the vast majority of battles in this game are double battles. Okay, I gotta show. I gotta make a note of this. Zero, three, two, fifteen. Yeah, this is. That's kind of annoying. Hello. There's been nothing but news about Team Snagum on every channel all day long. Usually, they uh, they'd have a, uh, at least one channel showing anime or something. Grumble. Interesting that they refer to it as anime and not, like, uh, cartoons. So either this is a more direct translation or a little more niche. Uh, TV's flashing, which means new news report. Sorry, just making a note. Oh. Um, I, I really look up to Justy, the leader of the pre -gym. He's really cool, of course. He's uh, a really tough trainer at Pokemon Battles, too. Let's see what's going here. Hello, are you travelers? Don't you think Fennec City is a very nice place? But if you're thinking about going on, you should be careful. There's a town called Pirate. Okay, so basically they're all saying, hey, Pirate's kind of dangerous. Don't go there, and if you do, and if you have to go there, be careful. Hello. I'm not good at schoolwork, but I'm pretty hot stuff at Pokemon battles. You're a trainer, aren't you? Yeah.
Alright. Espeon crew to level 26! Bum bum! Oh no, that wasn't supposed to happen! Oh, I got an item! TM41, let's see what that teaches. I don't know it off the top of my head. Torment prevents the target from using the same move in a row. Hold on, one second. Looking around for any items that may or may not be hidden. Hello. This town was peaceful before, uh, but lately it's uh, been turning rougher. It's because of the thugs that live in Pyrite Town, which is the next town over. They've been showing up here. I don't want to have anything to do with them. Let sleeping dogs lie. That's what I say. One second. I'm not convinced I found all the items. Alright. I think that's everything for now. Let's see. Zero. Seven. Five. All right. Hi, welcome to Pre Gym. This is a place for trainers and Pokemon to not only sharpen their strength and skills, but also their body and spirit. Now, pay attention. One does not become a good trainer simply by battling without strategy. A good trainer always thinks about the Pokemon that are in battle. Oh, you must be a trainer too. Are you listening in on my class? Since you're here, I have something here that uh, you might like. May I see your P-Star DA? Oh, that's a Pokemon Digital Assistant, or P-Star DA for sure. Wes, you have one too, don't you? Here you go, I've upgraded it and added the strategy memo function. You'll be able to check the types and abilities of the Pokemon you've met at a glance. Come see me when, uh, whenever you like. I'll update your... Uh, I'm not going to say the whole thing. PDA... Uh, with uh, detailed data on the Pokemon you met. I hope you make good use of the uh, strategy memo as you aim to, uh, to be a great trainer. Let's see here. The strategy memo. Zero. Twenty-eight. Nine. Alright, now that I've put that down in the notes, let's take a look here. Espeon! Psychic Ability Synchronize. And there's his cry. We can turn. Size in comparison to our trainer. Now let's take a look at a Pokemon we don't have. Uh, let's go with Zigzagoon. Cute little guy. Absolutely tiny in comparison to us. I want to hear that cry again. I'm not crazy, am I? Maybe I'm just crazy. Also, we have email and we have no email. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Put it on this one if you want to scare the shit out of yourself. I'll go with this one. Alright. It's at this point I realize I'm not entirely sure what team I have. Or what team I want to use. This is the first time I'm actually going into one of these streams without an idea of what team I'm going to be using. That's going to make something coming up in this stream very interesting. Pokemon gain experience by winning battles. Once they gain enough experience, they level up. By leveling up, Pokemon learn all sorts of different moves. But it's up to the trainer to mix and match those moves to suit the opponent. That's how trainers can show off their skills. If I talk to you, what about you? When you get into a Pokemon... You know, I, I've, I've already stopped caring. Let's get to the meat and potatoes here. Hello, I'm Jesse. I'm in charge of running the pre-gym. Judging by your appearance, I'd say that you're traveling, the two of you. Well, what do you think? Since you're already here, do you feel like having a battle? Yes. Okay, then let me introduce you to the trainers of the pre-gym. When you're ready to go, uh, no, when you're ready to go, go to the battle arena in the center and stand at the left-hand side. Let me just go over here. Do you feel like taking on some grass-type Pokémon? Then I'm the one you want. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. There's a part of me that wants to talk shit, but I don't think the J-Witch will ever forgive me. Bit flinched. Bum bum. How do you like that? You're more than strong enough. I'm going to toughen up some more. I hope you keep working too. Yep. Let's keep going. They just wait by the elevator. That's their job. <laughs> just sit by the elevator and wait until someone shows up for the pre gym battles. Shit, something actually did damage to us for once. And it's only two points of damage. Oh, it affects both of them? Okay, a grand total of five damage. Congratulations.
Espeon is basically like a level and a half behind Umbreon. I was impressed by your Pokemon! I wonder if there's a canonical reason behind that, or if it's just like random. Like, which of the two is stronger and by how much. Yep. Is it you? Did you want to battle me? You don't look like a trainer. What the fu- Neither do you, motherfucker! It doesn't matter. You can learn how, uh, how, how a proper trainer battles from me. Doggo, ground type. Got it. Last, so taunt, I guess, and reflect. No, I didn't mean to. Okay. Yeah, we already set up a reflect, but this bike should be enough to finish it off. There we go. They're tough, even though you don't look it. Bum, 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 bum. The way you battle is, uh, interesting. You might say it's unique, or maybe it's just chaotic. Well, I'll wish you the best of luck. So what's your plan? Keep on ch uh, chugging on with your battle challenge? Yes! The last of the normal battles. Your challenge is accepted. I do hope you're ready. Thank you for being polite. Win. Uh, flying type? Oh no, rock type. Nope, still ground type. Never mind. And it's still the fastest Pokemon on the field. I'm going to level 28! Bum bum! I must commend you for a battle well played! Too sophisticated for you, and that's why I lost. Oh, that was inspiring. You just showed me a great battle. It deserves a gift. I want you to have this. White herb. You don't have a full party of Pokemon yet. 
and you get six of them, I'd like you to come uh, see me again. That's when I will be your opponent. I'll be looking forward to it. Yeah, even then you don't want to battle this guy right away. This guy has very, very strong Pokemon, and our Pokemon right now just aren't ready for it. But for now, let's go down here and see what we got. We have a little bit of a training area for the pre-gym members. The training center has a variety of terrain, so any kind of Pokemon can train uh, where they're most comfortable. Nazo Nazoon! And this, I see I have a fan. Oh no, 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 not like that! Like this! Try again! Uh, hey, where did it dig to? Where did my sand slash go? Come on, boy. Why not, please? I, I'm actually kind of looking around for this. I'm not sure if you can actually find that sand slash. Or sand shrew or whatever. Excellent. Don't forget that timing. That's going to make us uh, uh, surefire winners. Go, go. Okay, where is that? I'm not sure if you can actually find it. Bisha, bisha. That's it! Yes! Splash! Way to go! Why am I convinced you can find the sand tree? Oh, sand slash. Just kind of mashing the button everywhere. Ah, whatever. Time to move on. But I won't let myself move on. Alright, to the Pokemon Center and then to go check something out. I think it's time we progress the story. I guess you're a traveling trainer. Hmm. I like what I see in your expression. <laughs> I have a feeling I may see you again. Somewhere. That's not weird. Why did that dude come out of the mayor's office? Ah, you must be travelers. Welcome to Phoenix City. I'm SK, the mayor. Or Escade. Now, you wanted to see me. Is there something that I may be able to assist you with? Um, er... Oh, what may I do for you, a pretty young lady like you? I... I saw it! Saw it? And what did you see? I saw a peculiar Pokemon. No, that's not quite right. What I saw was a Pokemon that gave off a black aura. It was like a fighting machine. And that Pokemon would attack people. Oh, oh my! Pokemon like a fighting machine and it attacks people? Now if that were true, that would be truly frightening. However, it is a little hard to believe. It's true, it's true, Mr. Mayor. Because I saw that Pokemon, I was made the prisoner of some frightening men until just a little while ago. Hmm, 
I see. I understand. I'll order investigation at once. You will? Thank you, Mr. Mayor! Oh, no, no. There's no need for thanks. We mustn't allow thugs to do as they wish, especially thugs that are in danger of- No, I don't feel like saying that. <laughs> Not again. I'll ask that you give me a little time on this matter. I promise we will get some useful information for you. Oh, yes. You appear to be Pokemon trainers yourself. If so, I urge you to visit our city's pride and joy, our Pokemon Stadium. It's a breathtakingly beautiful stadium befitting of our oasis city. I feel like we can trust this guy. Oh, hi, aren't you a cute guy? Uh, yeah, again, this... Yeah, I don't feel comfortable here. See ya, dude. Alright, let's go check out that stadium. Why not? Up oh, on, oh, let me put in the time. Zero, forty-seven, thirty-five. Alright, sorry about that. Again, I'm doing this for a retrospective, so I have to take notes. Welcome to FedEx Stadium. This is where we register trainers for uh, for challengers. However, the current challenge has already started, so we are no longer accepting trainers for the challenge. Please come back and end the next challenge. Ah, damn. Whoa. Fuck. Alright. We'll go do something else for now. Uh, hello. Hey, Wes, we finally found you, you filthy double-crossing traitor! Wrecking the hideout wasn't good enough for you, so you ripped off the snag machine? You've got some nerve. Who are these people? Huh? Are they Team Snag'em? And what do they mean by traitor? Wes, you mean... That's right, pretty lady. He's from Team Snag'em, just like us. I don't know. Whatever. Moving on. But he's no ordinary member. He's a snagger. He's the best in Team Snagum at snagging Pokemon without fail. No way! Is that true, Wes? Yeah, sure. Yeah, it is. Oh, so it is true! That's a little shocking. Hey, Wes, come on, hand it over. Give back the snag machine you ripped off from the hideout. Snag, snag machine? Wes, do you really have something like that? The snag machine's built for trainers. When a trainer puts a snag machine on, their Pokeballs are converted. Ordinary Pokeballs are turned into snag balls that can seal Pokemon from their trainers. In, uh, in battle. Hey, you blabbermouth, keep that stuff secret! I get it, Wes. That's why these creeps are chasing after you. Creeps? What do you mean by creeps? Gah, this is getting us nowhere. If you won't give it up willingly, we'll take it back by force. Coughing for you. It's been to level twenty seven. That didn't do a lot.
Bum bum! No! I'm not good enough! Blast you, Wes! Don't think this is over! We're going to get that snag machine back! Just you wait! Well, what do you know, Wes? It's here from Team Snagum. Oh, right, to be accurate, I should say former Team Snagum. It's okay, Wes. It doesn't matter to me who you are. After all, no. So it doesn't matter. Besides, I thought I thought up something after listening to those creeps. Listen, Wes, you should go shopping for some Pokeballs. Great idea! Let's go to the Mart! Wait, actually, hold on. Before I forget... Hold on, can I battle you? Oh. No, I cannot. Super Potion! There are three of them! Hello. Hi, I'd like all of your poke. Hmm. No Pokeballs. Let's see here. Zero to thirty. No poke balls in Mart. That's Odd, to say the least. Yeah, very odd. You have X Islands, but you don't have any Pokeballs. No one sells Pokeballs around these parts. That's common knowledge. The guy that runs Outskirts Stand used to sell them before, but you have to keep that a secret. I remember playing this game uh, a little bit as like a demo and I didn't know what it was I was supposed to do. I think Rui would keep telling you like, hey, you have to go uh, buy some Pokeballs. So I would come here to the Mart to buy some Pokeballs, but they didn't sell any and I just got stuck. And I didn't think to ask any of the NPCs because I was like eight or something and I hated reading with a passion. But now that we got that information, let's head to the outskirts stand. And Ryder Willie is just still standing out there. Listen, pal, if you're intending on trap, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, let me put this down. Huh? Pokeballs, you say? There's no call for those things around these parts. Where did I put them now? Oh yeah, here they are. A little dusty, I'm afraid, but otherwise perfectly usable. Here, take these. I'll let you have them for free! Wes obtained five Pokeballs. Well, since I found them, I may uh, I'm, I, uh, I may just as well put them out uh, with the rest of, them, of my merchandise. If you need some more, well, how about buying them from me? I buy something? Yes. I'm not sure if he gets like more varieties of Pokeballs as time goes on, but eh, I, I think he does. Oh, and I can't... Okay, wait, I can just do this. And that works, all right. So that's po uh, Pokeball. You want ten. Great! That's two thousand dollars. Thank you kindly. I'll even throw in a Premier Ball as a free bonus! You know what, actually? Ah, nah. I gotta save cash somehow. Alright. And now... The screen is flashing. New news alert! We just received breaking news! 
According to the arrested Snagam member, the smaller Snag machine is compact enough to be carried by a single person. Wearing this machine transforms ordinary Pokeballs into Snag Balls. A Snag Ball is an alarming device. It can actually steal Pokemon from their trainers. It is hoped that the missing Snag machine will not be used for criminal purposes again. Let's make no attempt to find the guy who has this dangerous device. Let's just be like, ah, oh, let's just hope it's not used for evil. Alright, let's head back to Phoenix City. Oh, it's you two! Something terrible's happening! A whole lot of scary men came here. I think I even saw those two creeps who took off in the truck earlier. Alright, let me... Alright, let's head up to the mayor. Actually, hold on one second. I should probably heal just to be on the safe side. here. Master Mayor B! It's, it's him! He's the one that took the girl from us! Sir, I don't mean to alarm you, but I believe there's an electrode eating your head. I highly suggest you do something about that before bad things happen. Oh now, aren't you boys frightfully pathetic? You mean to tell me you were bested by these darling infants? Darling, did you say your name was Wes or something? I so don't like saying this, but you're not at liberty to keep your lady friend at liberty. That sweet young thing, she can see things that ordinary people aren't supposed to see. That just will not do for what we're planning to do. No, it just won't do at all. If you don't like pain like most people, you can avoid the pain by keeping your nose out of places it needn't be. Boys, oh boys! Yes, yes we will. Boys, I shall make my return to Pirate now. Do remember that I will be waiting for you to return with a little lady. Am I making myself clear? I won't accept failure from you again, boys. <laughs> Let the music spin. Let's get out. Well, those three aren't very festive, are they? You, 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 the last time you caught me off guard. That's not gonna happen again. It's not really gonna help you all that much. Ah, 
got blasted! I got tripped up again! My turn now! I'm not going to end up like folly! Truly. That Pokemon! Oh, sure, captured me because I saw that Pokemon! I could see a black aura coming from it! They must have done something to that Pokemon! Boom! Oh! Wes, be careful, this Pokemon isn't afraid to attack people! I know, Wes, I hate to say this, but there's no other choice! Get that Pokemon back from the bad guys! Please, you have to! You can, actually, only you can do it! Oh shit, that one actually hurt. We're gonna try and weaken this thing. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, I'm going to say that's enough. Yeah. All right. Uh, bite just in case, and on Espeon's turn, get in the Gucci ball! Darn it! But you're good! You snagged my Pokemon! Hey, what are you saying? You're not supposed to be impressed! Oh man, what are we supposed to do? We got flattened again! Mirror B's gonna chew us out! What do we do? What is there to do? Run away! You did it, Wes! You snagged that Pokemon from that goon! But I'm sure there are others like it. Let's get all of them back from the bad guys. Let's take a look at this dude. Makuhita. Thick fat, heat and cold protection. The door to its heart is tightly shut. Right now all it knows is one move, Shadow Rush. Now, there are three exits to Fennec City. 
and they are all blocked by one of Mirror B's peons. Each of them have a shadow Pokemon. You beat one, and the rest of them disappear. I believe you can catch the other two in the post game. I you can't really do it before that. And I'm going to spoil what they have right now. Depending on their color, they will have the second form of one of the Johto starters. So the green one will have a bay leaf, uh, the blue one will have a croconaut, and the red one will have a quillava. Now, whenever I try, I, I think I've only played through Coliseum once, and I think I used bay leaf in that. However, the uh, Johto star I tend to use the most is Quilava, and I used, uh, well, I mean the cynical one, uh, out of the three. And, uh, I don't want to use the Totodile line, because I used that in, uh, the Gen 2, uh, Pokemon Crystal. So, I am going to roll a D20. If it's odds, I'm going with the bay leaf. If it's even, I'm going with the Quilava. Odds. 17. Bay leaf it is. Actually, you know what? No, hold on. I'm gonna do this, actually. Because, see, here's the thing. Here's something else. Shadow Pokemon do not obtain experience points. At least not in the traditional sense. What happens is their experience points are uh, stored. And then they receive them all at once after you do something with the Shadow Pokemon. So, yeah. That Makuhita is going to stay at level 30 for a while. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm, uh, I'm not about to let you pass. Or do you have this idea that you can take me in a battle? Yes. <laughs> Who's going to beat me? You are? Don't be crying out of regret later. I didn't get a good look at his name. So I'm gonna call him Mira Peon Green. There it is, the Shadow Bailey. Let's get rid of that Grimer first and foremost. Get out of here. We don't want you messing with our plans with this Bailey. We're going to try and capture every single Shadow Pokemon we come across. Though I cannot guarantee anything, unfortunately. Excuse me. Okay, confusion is a bit of a better option. Sorry. Making notes. There we go. Perfect.
All right. Items. Pokeball. Unfortunately, I couldn't afford a second Gucci ball. Mystery Troop Verde. Okay, let me hold on. I'm going back in, in, in my notes. I'm fixing. I'm fixing that. That strange Pokemon. What did you people do to it? That? It's a Pokemon that we turn into a fighting machine by artificially closing the door to its heart. No, you didn't. You artificially closed the door to your poor Pokemon's heart? <laughs> Knowing that uh, that's not going to help you do anything. I know. When I was little, I heard about that. They say that if any Pokemon closes the door to its heart, it can be gradually reopened by battling together with it. Wes, let's go. Those guys are probably headed for Pyrite Town. After all, it was in Pyrite that they captured me. And if you look around... Let's go over to this side. Red dude's gone. And the blue dude at the south end should also be gone. Let's take a look at this Bailey. Let's see. Bailey is already holding a miracle seed. Shadow Rush. The Shadow Gauge, uh, or, or, or rather the uh, the Heart Gauge, I'm sorry, will eventually decrease as you uh, battle with it, uh, as you uh, just kind of walk around with it, as well as a couple other things you can do. For now, though, let's head to Pyrite Town. Or we can go to the construction lot. I guess the idea is that's on the way? Whoa, hold it there. This is a construction site. It's not a safe place to be. There's no place for tourists to visit. Go on, scram. Uh, yep. It's been a mighty long time. I can't really recall when it was that I was last at home. But we're just about done here. All that's left is to clean up the site and we're done. <sighs> been working hard, I have. Let me tell you, making this here huge tower is one massive job. It's hard to imagine even for me. You'll come back to visit when we're all done here. There'll be a coliseum on top of the uh, of the tower. Amazing stuff. Can't go in here. Very strange. Now we can go to Pyrite Town. Aw, oh, Mr. Johnson, give me a break here. I keep telling you, I don't know anything. That better be true, Kale. 
If you're trying to con me, I'll know about it. Mr. Johnson, sir, I wouldn't think about lying to you. You've got to believe me, right? All right, fine. I'll let you off easy today. See you. <laughs> what a nitwit. Of course I, I haven't got a thing to tell you. Hello. What are you looking at? I haven't seen your faces around these parts. What are you, Taurus? If you don't want to get hurt, you should get lost and quit. For the good of your health. <laughs> and to, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. This pirate town uh, of Earth. Wind and money. You appear to be outsiders. You had best uh, beware. There are many ne'er-do-well sorts here. You thugs must be Mirapi's newest recruits. Well, shoot! Beat it! I don't have any money to give to the likes of you. Go in here real fast. The name's Duking. I run the Coliseum here. If you want to enter a battle, go to uh, go see the Coliseum's receptionist. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. Um, I'm the lookout. Nobody's supposed to get by me. There's nothing special behind the bookshelf. There's nothing special behind the behind the bookshelf, you sir. But there's a button at the side of the bookshelf. Press it. Interesting. What's down here, kid? Done anything but chatter. I'm so bored. I want to play house. Thank you. That's why, uh, Marcia, we've got to sh uh, somehow snag them from those criminals. What? You startled me. How did you get in here? That's weird. My little brother's supposed to be on lookout. Are you Papa's friends? I'm Marcia. I'm pleased to meet you. But sorry, we're busy. We're talking about something that's quite important. Please come visit and play with us another time. One second. Wasn't expecting this trigger here. Duking! How much more are you going to take from Mirror B and his stooges? They're using you in the Coliseum! What is the matter with you? Have they sucked the spirit right out of you? So you, so you just clam up. I've lost faith in you. That man that went out is Silva. He's Duking's friend. But he was really angry. His face looked all scary. Sorry, but I'm busy. You'll have to excuse me. Alright, let's see. There's a certain place I'm looking for. Oh, yeah. By the way, actually, well, let me show this first. This town does have something akin to a Pokemon Center, and it's this hotel, like in a normal... Okay, so what most JRPGs do, they have some kind of hotel, motel, or inn or something that you can sleep at and that restores your health, but you have to pay for it. Pokemon is different in that you can just walk into any Pokemon Center and they'll restore your Pokemon's health for your charge. That's not the case here. Stay in one of our ultra gorgeous suites and you'll be refreshed like you're brand new. Your Pokemon too! It's a mere $100 a night. Will you stay with us? Pretty cheap considering Pokemon, but still. Effectively the Pokemon equivalent of a dollar, but still. There is a place here where you can uh, heal your Pokemon for free. But I'm not going to show that off just yet. I'm going to look around. Okay, this is the place I was looking for. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm sorry, Chief, but there's trouble afoot! You see, Chief, there's talk that thugs have been witnessed using strange Pokemon! Huh? Chief? You're not the Chief! I beg your pardon! I'm here, Johnson. That story isn't new. I've heard... Uh, I don't know. I've heard about it over and over already. 
Oh, oh, gee, there you are. You're such a kidder. <laughs> Can't talk to him. Interesting. What? Not you two again! Listen, you have to promise, don't tell Mirror B that we're hiding out here, okay? After we blew our last chance, we couldn't go back, so we turned ourselves in for stealing that truck and, uh, here we are. If we stayed here, we'd be safe. <laughs> I believe this shop does actually sell Pokeballs. Hottie, why don't you lose that wallflower with you and be my sweetie? Wait a second, who are you to call me a wallflower? What about me makes me a wallflower? <laughs> Look at her, she's all serious, uncool. I'm only teasing out of boredom. I gotta like him, he's not to my taste. Urgh, that's it, I'm furious now. Let's be a man, stop her now. Chaser Emok would like to battle. Gulpin and Zubat. Is the Gulpin a Shadow Pokemon? Nope. She has no Shadow Pokemon, so this is just for experience. That works, I guess. serious. What kind of man battles a frail girl like me without easing up? You're not going to win the hearts of girls that way. What? Wes, it was here in this square that I saw that strange Pokemon. I tried to leave town afterwards, but that's when those creeps grabbed me. You should be careful. Even at the best of times, there's nothing normal about this town. Okay, I believe this is called Battle Square. Now we can just walk right on through. But there's five trainers here. Let's fight. Yep. Ryder Van. He's not as cool as Ryder Willy.
There you go. There goes the skinny. I'm going to level 29! I don't care if you have a Zigzagoon, that doesn't make you cool! Okay, so this is hyper mode. Uh, I actually, I usually don't keep my Pokemon in hyper mode for long, so I'm actually gonna look this up real fast. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's not on um, therapy. Got it. Effects of Hyper Road. Uh, I'm sorry, Hyper Mode. Uh, Shadow Rush has a 95% chance to land a critical hit. If the Pokemon is ordered to use any move other than Shadow Rush, it may take uh, one of the following actions instead. It may disobey and use another move. It may turn and attack its teammate. It may attempt to use uh, its item even if it doesn't hold one. It may hurt itself as if it were confused. It may attack its trainer or the opposing trainer, which has no battle effect. It may do nothing at all. It may return to its Pokeball, even if under the effect of Block, Mean Luck, or Spider Web. Uh, items cannot be used on a Pokemon in Hyper Mode, except since there is a small chance it will leave Hyper Mode on its own in battle. Yeah. As you can imagine, not ideal. So we're going to call this Bailey. Time to calm it down. Damn it. Yeah, and calling and breaking a Pokemon out of hyper mode does also uh, lower its heart gauge. We are going to continue trying to catch this mischievous. There we go. That was easy for you. Losing like that snapped me out of my hyper state. Did you know if a Pokemon goes into hyper mode, call its name and it uh, and its head will its head will snap. Okay, back to reality. Snap back to reality. Oh, the gold gravity. I don't I don't remember the rest of the layers on something head. 
Alright, I'm gonna come in here and we're gonna... I'm only gonna do this once, just to kind of show it off. Let's take a look at this Mistrevis. Mistrevis is also holding an item, a spell tag. Okay. This is, oh, dual square. Let me go back and actually change that one second. Dual square. I thought it was battle square because Battle is a name typically used by Pokemon, whereas Duel is typically a term used by uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. So, yeah, I wasn't expecting it to be called Duel Square. Uh, where even crying kids know they'd better shut up. This is where Roughnecks gather, so how about it? Would you like to battle with me? Yes. Sorry, I have to take notes. All right, let's see here. I'm kind of doing things like this so uh, I can uh, level up Umbreon and Espeon to about level 30, which is about where the Shadow Pokemon are. Because there's no real way to track how much experience a Shadow Pokemon has gathered before it, uh, uh, you do the thing that lets it get all that experience in one go. I'm starting to suspect that maybe, just maybe, I should set up a Reflect. Oh yeah, I should set up a reflect. It's a normal battle, I honestly don't care. This is such a nothing fight that I honestly don't care about me using items to win. I really don't. And I mean nothing in terms of importance or anything. No, I, I didn't mean to use Reflect again. I hit the button too fast. Oh, lovely. You can also use Call to wake up uh, Pokemon and I think snap them out of confusion.
There goes the Wingle. Espeon grew to level 28! Get in the ball. Right then, I like your style. Here's a useful tip. If a Pokemon goes into hyper mode, uh, its attacks become more likely to be critical hits. What a surprise, eh? Alright. If you cross over this bridge... Come over here. You can use this machine to restore your Pokemon's health absolutely free. It's a bit of a walk, but it's free. So, yeah. Now, ah, it's time to continue. Diogo, street performer Diogo. Flappy and Shroomish. All right. Huh. I thought Shroomus was already, uh, part poison by now. Oh, no, I thought Shroomus just straight up was part poison. Well, I guess it wouldn't make sense for it to then lose its poison typing. We need to evolve the, uh, Prelude. Excuse me.
Sorry if I keep yawning. I, uh, didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Alright, get in the ball, you frickin' sheep. Gotcha! Flappy was caught. Have performed me. You're surprisingly good. I think you deserve to know a little bit of the Shadow Rush inflicts damage on any kind of Pokemon without being affected by their types. The amount of damage doesn't vary with the target's Pokemon type, so it's easy to use. That's probably why it's like the default move for every single Shadow Pokemon. Let me actually take another look at that move. Let's see here. 90 power! Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Excuse me. Actually, hold on. Nope, okay. All right, on to the next trainer, and that would be you. If I talk, if you try talking to anyone in Dual Square, there's only one answer. Batoy. Bite on the skip bloom, confusion on the oddish. Confusion on the dust talks. There, ah, one HP. Oh, how much is it gonna heal? Okay, not too much. So that's gonna be a problem for when we try to catch it. It'll actually wind up undoing some of the damage we do to it. Which makes trying to guess whether or not it's safe to do another attack kind of difficult. Uh, 
All right. Pokeball. Oh, no advice this time. All right. Now, I think we're going to battle the last trainer in dual square, and then we're going to call it a stream. Huh? You want to battle me? Sure thing. Battling fans are always welcome. This guy's actually really friendly. I like him. Like, like this part of town is thought to be, like, the most dangerous part of the entire city. Yet this guy here, he's, he's like, from, uh, he, he kind of seems to me like one of the better trainers here, and he's just really friendly and really polite. I like him. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay. I saw that out of the corner of my eye and I'm like, what happened? That should be low enough to where the uh, the maximum for catching a Pokemon is. From what I understand, uh, the likelihood of catching a Pokemon does not go any lower once it's reached a third of its max health. And that looks to be about a third. Uh, one more bite just to be on the safe side.
There we go. That'll do it. Oh yeah, that'll definitely do it. Alright, get in the ball. Oh no! He has AirPods in! Yeah, this one really doesn't like the Pokeballs. This could be dangerous. It's it's actually looking to take itself out now. Which is odd because like before you catch it, it knows a variety of moves. So the fact that it's doing this has to be on purpose. Like it knows we're trying to catch it and it doesn't want us to succeed. I think we can rematch him if we fail. Okay, luckily that's not necessary. You're way tough. We've got to battle again. That, that, that guy's really nice. I like him. Alright. Let's heal up our Pokemon real fast. Oh yeah, also we can't nickname our Pokemon until we do that thing that like dumps all of the EXP on it like right away. Also, no, your eyes are not deceiving you. Uh, you actually have to uh, go to the PC in order to save in this game, which is stupid. But anyway, let's take a look at our Pokemon one more time before we leave. We have Umbreon, now level 29. Some pretty good defensive stats there. We have Espeon. Pretty good special attack there. Uh, special attack there, and very, very fast. Let's take a look at his moves. Focus energy, synthesis. Nothing yet, and nothing yet. All right. Okay. So now, I'm going to show this off. Yes, we're going to save here. Alright. Sorry, I just had to put that note down real fast. But yeah, in the next part, I think it'll be abundantly clear that the way we continue forward is by challenging the Colosseum, why not? Let's give it a shot. See what that's all about. But that'll be happening next time we play Pokemon Colosseum, and that'll be next week, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, assuming all goes well as I do before the extremes. But in between now and then, you can catch me playing Pokemon Emerald, uh, where we will be continuing the post-game, 
and also continuing uh, our chances in the Battle Frontier. Uh, yeah, also maybe doing some uh, contest stuff. I don't know. We're just going to be doing post-game stuff in Pokemon Emerald. Before I go, uh, people in Ukraine need help. So, in the About section on my Twitch page and also in the description of this video, uh, assuming you're watching on YouTube, there will be links out to you to one or two articles, both which is very serious, uh, sending aid to Ukrainians in need. If you have any spare cash, please consider donating to one or more of the charities within another article. People could really use the help. People could really use the help, I'm sorry. Uh, with all that said, I can't think of anything else that needs to be said, so I will see you guys later with something else.